this is an extension of the previous video and um, so that means you have seen in the video before that I have created some submenus uh, for my APIs for healthcare APIs and FHER APIs and um, supposing there is a situation that you believe um, or you think that you don't want to show all of these foldout entries and all of these APIs to everybody. You know, you can do that with API manager, organization and permission management. But when it comes to that foldout menu and someone would not have access to healthcare APIs, he would click on that menu entry and then you would see that he has no API found for him, which is not a great user experience. Um, better is to hide that healthcare APIs or FHER APIs, just hide it from the user. And um, there is a new feature introduced in 7.7, which makes that possible, which is um, the so-called user group mapping. Um, to demonstrate that, I have created two application developers, two users, just as an example. I have a user with the login name partner, and this user has an email address at partner.com, which is important to know. Um, the user belongs to the community, and it's a normal user. And then I have a user which is named Chris, and this one has an email address chris at xway.com. And what I would like to achieve now is that, um, for instance, the partner user should only see maybe the FHER APIs, but not the healthcare APIs. And today, um, you know, in API manager, you have only that limited user management so that the user belongs is the user and then you have org admins and you have admins. And it comes down to API portal that um, you have only two user groups, users and org admins. And these users are sorted up so that an org admin um, becomes um, a, an API manager user, I think, or a, sorry, an, an API manager, and the normal user becomes a registered user, something like that, which is not very handy. And, <clears throat> and to solve that problem, we have introduced a new feature in API portal, which is called the user group mapping, which allows me to, to map users based on other information into a Joomla user role. So that means you see there are a number of roles in API portal, which um, are registered by default. And of course you can create new user groups, new access levels, and then combine them as you want. I just stick for that illustration or for that uh, demonstration to say that my partner user or my Chris user should go into that super user group. And you can do that by, by adding extra mappings. By default, you see all, arc, all org admins are going into the roles manager and into the role registered, while a normal developer user goes only to registered. And now you can combine that in an or condition, this is important to know, um, uh, by the organization name or organization names, and here we do support wildcards and can say everybody from the org, blah, 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 supposing there is an organization which is named somehow with partner included, then all these users belonging to that partner organization will go into that super user group. I don't want this for now, but I want to add my email address and say everybody from the xway.com email address, maybe the internal email domain, goes into that super user group and then I then that's all. So and now I can save that. And uh, in a convenient way you see let's say an overview, there is one email pattern for super users and then you can extract it. You can also go and search for things to to have a better overview and see there's an xway.com pattern and this is mapped into the super users. So that's one thing. And now if I go to the actual users and say, I look for the user Chris, search for, then I say that the Chris is actually belonging to, to the registered user, to the API manager, and instantly becomes, uh, he got access to the super user group. So that's one thing. 
And now, of course, I need to control who can see what. And I do that by going into my main menu entry again, as we went to the previous video. And I decide that the FHER APIs should only be visible to my um, specific user groups. And I do that. Let me check where it was. Um, for super users. So that means all users who have access to the, who are belonging to super users are able to see that menu entry, menu entry. So now I have saved that. I'm going back and sign out of the API portal. I sign in as Chris. And my expectation is now that I'm belonging to a super user group. And that's why I should see that help K API menu entry. All good. And now I'm logging in as a partner. And that partner has no access to that menu. Ah, what's wrong here? Yeah, that's ex that's expected or not expected. But you see that the FHER APIs, which are only visible to super users, don't see anymore, this user doesn't see anymore that there is an additional menu entry, menu item entry. And of course, this is possible to all other content elements like the menus here, or you can place content over here. And all this can be limited to user groups which are actually logged on. And to me, that's why that user group, user group mapping feature is very powerful in the Joomla version 7.7 and higher. 